Hello everyone, what's up? It is me, Micah, and welcome to another fashion-related video. If you guys are new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. You are loved in this space. For those of you who have been with me, thank you, thank you for watching yet another fashion video from me. Itong mga pieces na to, accumulated sila from last year to bagong bago lang talagang kakalatin lang dito sa bahay. They're a mixture of tops, dresses, bottoms, shoes, and also bags. But I'm not gonna show you guys every new piece that I've gotten. These are so far my favorites or some of them I simply have not shown you. That's why I want to show them to you here on this video. We're hopping right into that. Pero syempre, lippy of the day muna tayo. Right now, I am wearing the Chris Life Kit by Ever Belena in the shade Life. I used the liquid with lippy and as well as the lip liner but then pinag exchange ko sila inuna ko yung liquid lippy tapos tsaka ko ginamit yung lip liner that's really not the right way to do things and hindi ako nagpapauso nang kamali lang talaga ako and to tone down yung pagka pink niya ginamit ko yung skin potions dream cream in the shade scarlet all right guys let's head right into the video to start with my new tops. Ito, nakita niyo na to, kaya ito yung unang papakita ko sa inyo. Tada! We have here this cream vest that I got from Lazada. I believe I got this for about 400 pesos. I really, really love this. Ang ganda ng texture niya. Napaka soft niya sa balat. And you might think that the fabric is thick, but actually, it is not. You can wear it on its own, but you can also wear a long sleeved top inside of it or just style it however you want to according to your fashion sense. You guys probably remember this vest from a video that I did and I paired it with the next top that I will be talking to you guys about which is this one. I got this linen long sleeves top from H&M. This is in the size XS by the way you guys and kaya ko nilagay itong vest na to on top of this kasi na-inspire ako sa mga looks ng Koreans. Nung time na binili ko to, I was watching start up and sobrang sinusubaybayan ko talaga yung show. Going back to how I style it, I put this vest on top of this and it's so so cute with simple maong shorts. I will get to that in just a bit but to show you guys what that looks like, here it is. Next up, we have this beautiful top that I got from Mango. This one lang, ibang texture niya. Parang yung texture niya pwede siya sa beach. I'm not good with fabrics. I have yet to learn that. But this, I would say, is quite similar to linen, but not exactly. It's almost linen. It's almost like a mix of linen and cotton. I'm so bad at this. But anyway, this is a button down and I love these details on the buttons. They're made out of wood. They complement the shade of the green very, very well. Kung gusto niyo malaman yung measurements ko, and if similar siya dun sa measurements nyo, I will put it in the description box below para alam nyo lang kung anong size yung pwede yung blend if you guys are interested in this. It's simple, but what really drew me is the overall fit. It's not like all those other sleeveless tops with collars on them. Just to give you guys an idea on how I would style it, I would definitely go for maong pants or maong shorts. If you're not into denim and you want to wear like skirts, I will show you guys something that can match well with this although it has different colors on it i suggest you go for a printed moment or a textured maxi skirt that will really help pop this green up without really taking away from the beauty of the skirt my next top will definitely transition us to the bottoms part of this video so we have here this puff sleeved high neck long sleeve top Wow, that is a mouthful. I also got this from Mango. It's in the size XS and bought it off of Zalora. I have been into dresses and tops of the like, pero ito talaga yung pinakauna of this kind na binili ko. I just wanted to check first kung okay ba siya sa katawan ko, if it fits me well, because I have admired so many different styles of clothes that ended up not looking that good on my body frame. This is just a beautiful, beautiful statement top. And as I told you guys, this is a great transition to the bottoms part of this video and I'll show you guys why. So I decided 
ta-da! To buy yung matching maxi skirt niya. Look at that beauty. I mean, I just love this print. It's so classy and classic. It's just a print that you would keep going back to. You will look back on it 20 years from now and you would think, I can still wear that. These two together is just like the tita is ever. And I am obsessed with that kind of vibe and style. Initially, I was actually only thinking of buying this and just trying the top out and possibly returning it but then when I saw these two together I just fell in love I love the fit and this is in the size XS as well I'm sure nakita nyo kanina na trinay ko to along with the green top but of course given the chance I would love to wear these two together but I'm saving that for a possible out of the country trip in the future anything that I lack in my closet, it's definitely a variety of denim shorts. So when I sale si Zara, I made sure to take advantage of it. When I went to the store nila, sa Makati, I saw to, And it was the only one in the size 34. So I grabbed it as soon as I could. Ang maganda dito is that you can fold it up and it won't look too short. And at the same time, you can just leave it down as is to give off like that mom shorts, Bermuda type of look. And it's garterized at the back so it really really hugs you nicely sa waist nyo. Hindi naman sa I'm very into garterized shorts but just so happens that I got this pair from Zalora. Yes, the brand is Zalora itself. This is actually the pair of shorts that I wore on my engagement video, if you guys remember. Last pair of bottoms that I got is from Mango again that I got off of Zalora. So we have this linen trousers. I fell in love with the shade of this pants. Of course, it has pockets. Never buying trousers without pockets. I feel like they're not gonna be as useful as they should be. I'm the type to look at the little details. And as you guys can see, the button of this pair is in black. So maganda that you pair it with a black top. Just make sure that you tuck it in para makita yung cohesiveness no matter how little that detail may be. But I'm also the type to go all white, all beige. I love that Parisian looking moment. It just reminds me of those nice luxe and posh apartments that I see on Pinterest. So I would definitely pair this with a white top as well, no matter how simple that may be. to the dresses. I love, love, love this portion of the video. As you guys know, I am obsessed with the dresses. You guys can check out my dress collection video, but that has been updated. May mga nabenta na ako doon. At meron ako mga napamigay. And meron na rin ako mga bago kong binili. Starting off with this dress that I got from Zara. This is a very recent purchase. This is very similar to a Zara dress that I have worn so many times and I'm still not letting go of. Yung dress na to, sobrang in love I love ako, kaya I decided to get this. Really gives off like a cheerful, lovely, and darling vibe. But it's not like it's made out of very bold colors that will make you look too whimsical because I'm not really a fan of that kind of style. Dresses are very easy. You throw them on, you're good to go. I don't like going over the top with dresses. For this one, you can style it up with a blazer if you desire to do so, but it's not really all all that necessary. If you think the colors are too girly, I would suggest that you wear sneakers with it. I've been crushing on this dress too long on this video, so let's move on to the next one. From girly and playful, I'm gonna move on to something more sophisticated and woman-like. We have this maxi dress in silk that I got from Zara. What really drew me to this dress is the ash shade. It's such a beautiful Beautiful, beautiful gray moment. Ang ganda nung naging design nila dito. Kasi dito sa top part na to, it will really flatter your chest area without taking away from the sophistication once again. And it falls all the way down to your ankles to make you look long and slim. Kaya talaga nung trinay ko yung dress na to, you know, I was like, this is the dress 
that I'm going to wear while I'm getting my makeup done on my wedding day. So now you guys know. And also, the best part is the straps are adjustable. I don't have to remove it all the way up over my head. I can just loosen the straps and let it fall off my body naturally. So yeah. Perfect. I wanted to mix girly and womanly sophistication into one dress. So I decided to get this one as well. I got this from Zara. And of course, I got it on sale because the original price... There. That's all I can say about it. This has a very low back, pero yun yung beauty niya talaga. Ang ganda ng buttons, designs, a little details that this has. Color, this color palette, the shade, and the way that the flowers go together, meshed with the greens, is just breathtaking to me. You know, the thing about this is medyo mababa yung neckline niya. Pag dito mo sa front, parang okay lang naman. Pero when you look on the side, okay, that's where the boob action starts to happen. So how I would style this is put a pullover on top of it or a nice knit sweater. What you can do to make it look like it's a skirt is to use a very thin belt. Pull it all the way to the tightest and then just loosen up the sweater that you put on top of it. It's definitely a great trick to maximize the pieces that you have in your closet. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I've really been into pieces that have a different quirk, a different kind of structure to them. If not, I make sure that the prints of the clothing pieces that I wear look like a piece of art. I've been getting into art lately and I I would say that a big influence to that is Skillshare. So thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Fashion is not separate from art. In fact, I believe that it's a facet of it. As we enhance and further grow our creativity, our sense of fashion will evolve along with it. Skillshare will help you explore different ways to get creative, smarter, and of course, more skillful. If you're into fashion just like me, you may type in fashion on the search bar and you'll have a lot of choices to choose from. If not, you choose classes that can help you create build and thrive. If you want to get a free trial, Skillshare and I will grant you your wish to do so. All you have to do is click the link in the description box, sign up, and you're good to go. Better hurry up though, because only the first 1,000 users can take advantage of this opportunity. All right, guys, let's get back into the video. I was very into luxury bags in the past, but I realized that it's really not for me. I'm not the type to like very loud printed luxury items. So ever since then, may mga nabenta na ako na bags and I traded them for much cheaper ones that pretty much hold the same amount of stuff and also are just as durable. I'm talking about all leather bags, starting with this one that I got from Zara. It's actually limited edition, but I believe that you can still find this on their website. I love this slouchy look. In fact, if you want to wear it to a more formal event, you don't have to use it as a shoulder bag, you can put the sling of the bag behind it and just carry it like this, diba? Parang Bottega Veneta the pouch. We're gonna get to that in a bit. And it's also such a classic, classic look. You know na, it's a type of bag na kahit nga medyo tumanda ka na, magagamit mo pa rin siya kasi it's not very loud. It's very simple, in fact. And even the whole structure of it, it's unique. But it's something that you know is just timeless and classic. Last bag that I got, Guys, sobrang naging into ako dun sa Bottega The Pouch. It was all over Pinterest and Instagram as well. And I have a special board for it, in fact. And I was like, I want one, but not the Bottega The Pouch because it costs almost 200,000 pesos. I couldn't even say it. See, my my throat didn't allow me to say it. Eh, ang daming gumagawa nung inspired version nga nung Bottega The Pouch. And I was like, I would rather just buy an all leather version of that that's not Bottega. So yes, I got myself this scene on her all leather cowhide bag that looks exactly like the Bottega Veneta the pouch. You can also opt to remove the strap if again you want the Bottega Veneta the pouch look. I don't know how many times I've said that but please do count. I would love to know. I love the soft buttery leather of this and I feel like because of the style and the irregular shape it completes the entire look. It's this 
one solid acro white color and it just levels up the sophistication of an outfit even more. I would definitely just die to wear this with a trench coat but obviously that is not gonna happen anytime soon so I'm fine with wearing it with an outfit like this and it would still look nice. See what I mean? Moving on to shoes, last category for this video and we are gonna start off with two pairs that were given to me by Philly Shoes and I really really love them super but I'm gonna talk about this first and then my absolute favorite afterwards. This is made out of man-made leather. It's croc embossed and it also has heels but the best part about new shoes na to is that all of actually lahat ng shoes ng Philly Shoes gawa sila sa Marikina so rest assured na magandang maganda yung quality niya. Guys, just looking at it, nakikita ko yung difference niya from other stores that sell their shoes for a very, very affordable price, let's just say. This is not that pricey. I believe this goes for a thousand plus. Pero kasi, at this point, you're paying for quality. So alam yung magtatagal talaga to. Ta-da! I have worn this so many times. That's why I don't want to get that close to it. But anyway, I got this pair from Philly Shoes. It is beige and meron lang siyang onting onting heels, but technically I would still consider this as flats. I just love this for an all around use. I can use this with any outfit because of its shade. And I know that it has a little bit of texture, but I guess that's what I love most about it because I'm usually the type to wear very plain clothes. And these shoes, even though they're very simple, they just elevate the character of my outfit. So yeah, I really, really love this. And I I would highly recommend it because look at that. I've worn this so many times, but it still looks brand new, actually. I mean, it's just in my head that I know it's dirty. Moving on to the last item for this video. Ta -da! We have these heels from Mango. And these are actually the heels that I will be wearing for my wedding. I am so, so excited about them. These are limited edition Mango heels. It is just so beautiful and unique. I know it just looks like you know, a regular a pair of white pointed black heels but trust me guys kapag suot nyo siya makikita nyo yung difference these shoes I won't just be able to use them exclusively for my wedding because they're a pair that I can also use for my hostings and other gigs in the future I'm excited for that time but for now I'm gonna store these really well until my wedding day guys that is it for this video I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you enjoyed looking at all these pieces that I got Please do let me know if you want to see more styling vids and fashion videos from me. Comment those down below. But for now, I'm leaving you guys with love, hope, and faith. For today, you watched me, Mike Luis, and I cannot wait to see you again. Bye, everyone! <laughs>